the society you have to achieve certain things for the society how do you contribute to the world for the betterment of the world right how do you uh, contribute to uh, to the your profession right or how do you contribute to your colleagues and everything but me standing here will be telling you that how do you contribute to yourself okay for example i have a bag of seeds okay but those seeds are randomly picked up those are not uh, you know uh, identified uh, properly or something like that so there are uh, for example आंबे चबी आहेत त्याच्यात कोई आहे ओके बट सम आर गुड काही मध्ये किडे लागलेले आहेत काही खूप चांगल्या प्रतीचे हापूस आंब्याच्या कोई आहेत आणि काही खूप साध्या कोई आहेत राईट अँड देन आय डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इट टू ऑल ऑफ यू ओके यू हॅव गिव्हन द लँड सिमिलर लँड वॉटर सनलाईट एव्हरीथिंग बट द सीड इज डिफरंट ओके अँड देन वी प्लांट दॅट सीड ईच ऑफ यू प्लांट दॅट सीड do we get similar product at the end of the uh, maturity period yes or no? no no right why right who is trying to answer yes see you guys are giving me the right answer you just have to raise your hand and tell it confident because the seed yes yes right seeds were different right so sit down so here what i am talking about we being the seed right sir apanat sangla bhi nasu jar aplya kade jo pahije to confidence nasel if we are not mentally emotionally strong and capable of facing surrounding around us then will it be possible to grow something beautiful from that right so before moving forward i want all of you to stand up quickly keep your everything on the desk and i want to see all of you coordinated and going in a pattern as a team not individual Sorry? Sweating. 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 Okay. 
You have to be a little louder. Everybody. Ah. Yes, anything else? Any other symptoms? Yes? No? No stress at all? <laughs> good, good. That was going to stress. This is also a way of dealing with your stress. Just little movements with your hands, with your neck, with your legs can help you to cope up stress in a better way. So right now, I hope you guys have understand that we are going to talk all about stress and how it is important for you to deal with you. Uh, deal with it because the bee sangla se the zhar sangla ugonar. The bee sangla na se the zhar sangla ugonar nahi. Ani apan kona ho yakshanala bia ho, right? Apne na se samanat zaman ke tere sangla dey se. If we want to contribute something good to the world, then we ourselves we have to be good first, and second we have to put, create a good atmosphere around us. So we'll see. Uh, I welcome you again. Here to the session. Friendships are still. Apply either relationships are still. Girlfriends, boyfriends, now or a boy could only relationship are still. So this is very important, right? And these could be the causes of your stress. Next. So we agree to this, right? Yes. Next. So what is stress? There is a definition written there. Would you please read it for me? Right. Very good. So, uh, can you give me some examples? When do we feel like this? For example, in your age, right now you are taking admission in this college and you are thinking about your future. When would you feel these kind of situations that you are feeling, feeling overwhelmed or maybe unable to cope with the situation? When can this occur to you? Backlogs. Backlogs. Okay. <laughs> Next. Yes. All all of you are from Pune city only. Uh, yes, many of you must have migrated, right? Yeah. So leaving our house, leaving our childhood friends might be a little overwhelming, right? Is it overwhelming or not? Yeah. Is it? Yes. Yes, and we need to acknowledge it. We are human beings. We should not keep any uh, wrong expectations from ourselves. It's okay. Everyone is migrated. No, I feel low. I could feel low. Acknowledging your emotion is very important. Discussing it with a teacher, with a friend, with a relative, over the call with your family is very important. Not acknowledging your emotions can re, uh, can take you to the wrong path, right? So I ask again: Is it hard? This process is hard. Yes, right. So whenever this kind of situations come, see we cannot avoid this, right? We see that people always travel from one place to another place from for their education, then from that place to another place for their job or working profession, right? And this is what we always do, and this is what we call as call as growth, right? Development. We are not nobody wants to stay at the same place, right? We want to grow. We want to go somewhere else at a better place. So these situations are going to come. Then what do we do? We give up. Do we? No, we don't give up. We try. We try to help each other. We try to understand the causes behind it. We try to uh, understand how does it react with us, with my body, with my mind, with my emotional pressure. And that is something very important when we are trying to contribute something uh, bigger to the society. Okay. So whenever an uh, overwhelming situation comes. Which creates a little bit of pressure on us, or maybe a little bit of pressure on us to cope up with the situation. We call it as a stress. For example, here is a water bottle. It's very small water bottle, but I will tell you, any one of you, to hold it like this and stand for five minutes. You will be able to stand, right? Then I'll say, okay, you're standing for five minutes. Let's do it for ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. After twenty minutes, you'll say, ma'am. And is telling, please, we cannot do this. Same happens with us when we hold on to a wrong thought, a negative thought, or a bothering thought in our mind. That is stress. What this bottle is going to do me physically, same thing is going to uh, be there in our mind when we do uh, when certain situations occur in our life. So, how do we deal with this kind of stress? We are going to see that next. So, uh, what does stress look like? 
we have discussed we have already discussed it to uh, previously it took it looks uh, differently to everybody right someone will start sweating someone will start feeling nauseous someone might feel okay okay i am not going to do it anymore i'm just i'll just run away from this and i'll go i'll go to a movie i'll i'll not look into it right so there are two basic responses to a stressful situation so we need to identify this and we need to understand this that how does it work with us okay so those are called as fight and flight okay so for example uh, sinagar college decides to take you on a very nice trip to uh, uh, what can you say abhyaranya dekha jata tumhala ghun gelo hai ani tithe ek don teen mula muli cha group ahe ki je sagal jana ekatra firta re to gathi ka jana kudhi ase firta re ani tithe samor ek chhan paiki mast je far kami sankhya raile bharat ek vag samor ala right सो आता तुम्हाला माहिती आहे हा वाग आहे आता इथे काहीच चालणार नाही आहे तर तो आपल्याला मारून टाकणार म्हणजे हा जीवन मरणाचा प्रश्न आहे आय दर वी आर गोईंग टू लिव्ह और वी आर गोईंग टू डाय राईट सो मे बी कपल ऑफ यू माय थिंक की ओके आय कॅन फाईट द डायमंड आय हॅव डन होम हो माय गॉड आय एम व्हेरी गुड आय आय डू जिमिंग एन ऑल अँड सो टायगर इज नथिंग फॉर मी आय एल फाईट अँड दॅट पर्सन माईट टेक आउट सम अवेज और मे बी समथिंग और रॉक्स आर समथिंग अँड डिसाईड सो फ्लाईट they may need to or three they might say no tiger oh my god i'm leaving and they might start to run but not every situation is in our life is going to kill us for example there is a there is an exam okay and you score a little low is that going to matter a lot is that life changing no that might change your score for that term that might change your score for that year but that is not going to harm you permanently and marks everything everything in life is important but we need to know the importance of certain things at certain time not always we need to fight and not always we need to fight see if you are you are struggling with your courses with uh, your marks your concentration capability you should not flight from there you should not go away from there you should fight there no i will train my mind to concentrate more because this is what i am supposed to do for next 2 years 3 years 4 years after that i have different journey to uh, journey ahead of me right so not always fighting or not always flighting is right or wrong like when there is a uh, life in that situation you are not supposed to fight there you are, you are supposed to take a right call and you are supposed to fly from there for example if there is really a tiger you are supposed to save yourself you are supposed to fly from there right and that is what uh, we say when stress looks different to each other for example iyatta pahilitle shaayatli mula pahave kone asbhuta shaayat janani sagayanis pahiye iyatta pahilitli mula iyatta pahilitle mula na tancha doktor jad asta ka nahi nasta karna jad nasai vata ती मुलं स्वतः दहा बारा तेरा किलोची आहेत आणि त्यांचं दप्तर पाच सहा किलोचं जड आहे की नाही आहे ना पण ते तुम्हाला मला जड आहे का आणि दहावीतल्या मुलाचं दप्तर जे दहा बारा किलोचं आहे पाच सहा किलोचं आहे ते त्याला जड आहे का दप्तराचं ओझं जड आहे का नाहीये पण त्याला दहावीचं टेन्शन किती जड बरोबर त्यामुळे प्रत्येकाच्या दप्तराचं ओझं वेगळं असतं प्रत्येकाला जड वाटणारा स्ट्रेस देणारा फॅक्टर वेगळा असतो आणि त्याच्याकडे त्याच पद्धतीने बघितलं पाहिजे प्रत्येकाच्या लाईफमध्ये स्ट्रेस वेगळ्या प्रकारे जाणवतो काहींना तो इमोशनली जाणवतो काहींना मेंटली जाणवतो काहींना फिजिकली जाणवतो प्रत्येकाच्या कपॅसिटीज वेगळ्या असतात सो डेफिनेटली स्ट्रेस लुक्स डिफरंट टू एव्हरी वन अँड पीपल डील विथ इट इन अ डिफरंट फॉर्म ऑर इन अ डिफरंट वे नेक्स्ट वे सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेस सी जेव्हा आपण डॉक्टरांकडे जातो डॉक्टर आता तुम्ही सगळेच देणार आहात पुढे जाऊन मेडिसिन पण जेव्हा आम्ही डॉक्टरांकडे आपण सगळेजण जातो तेव्हा डॉक्टरांना आपण सांगतो की मला हा मंत्र होतोय की मला ताप आलाय किंवा माझा पोट दुखतोय आणि मला औषध द्या तेव्हा डॉक्टर आपल्याला सांगतात की ही ही औषधं घ्या प्रिस्क्रिप्शन देतात अँड देन वी टेक दॅट मेडिकेशन राईट बिकॉज वी डोंट नो एनिथिंग अबाउट इट बट वॉट एम आय हिअर टू टीच यू टुडे और वॉट एम आय डिस्कस हिअर टू डिस्कस विथ यू टुडे इज स्ट्रेस मॅनेजमेंट ऑन युअर ओन सो बिफोर मॅनेजिंग आवर स्ट्रेस ऑन आवर ओन वी शुड नो आवर प्रॉब्लेम ऑन so i am telling you these are three types of stress for example first is acute stress that appears for a certain period of time 
लाईक एक्झाम आहे दोन तीन दिवस थोडे स्ट्रेसफुल आहेत रात्री झोप नाही येते खूप अभ्यास करायचा आहे समजा किंवा एखाद्याचं लग्न ठरल्यावर तुझं स्ट्रेस येतो एन्झायटी येते तो स्ट्रेस इट कुड बी पॉझिटिव्ह इट कुड बी निगेटिव्ह अक्यूट स्ट्रेस सेकंड क्रॉनिक स्ट्रेस जो लॉंग टर्म स्ट्रेस आहे ज्याच्यामध्ये घरात कोणीतरी खूप आजारी आहे किंवा घरामध्ये खूप जास्त फायनान्शियल प्रॉब्लेम्स खूप दिवस झाले चाललेले आहे किंवा बाहेरची एखादी व्यक्ती आपल्याला खूप काळ झाली बॉदर करतीये चांगल्या वाईट कारणाने कुठल्याही कारणाने दॅट कुड बी क्रॉनिक स्ट्रेस अँड लास्ट वन इज एपिसोडिक स्ट्रेस की जेव्हा एखादी गोष्ट एपिसोडिक फॉर्म मध्ये घडत असते वारंवार तेव्हा त्या स्ट्रेस तो स्ट्रेस निर्माण होतो फॉर एक्झाम्पल थ्री इडियट पाहिल्या सगळ्यांनी राईट सो राजू रस्तो की जेव्हा जेव्हा त्यांच्या डीनला भेटायला जात असतो काय मागत असत हे बरोबर उत्तर आलं ना सगळ्यांना ओके सो व्हायरस भॅनेमध्ये ही गोष्ट मीन व्हायरस ही फील स्ट्रेस अबाउट इट राईट सो दॅट इज कॉल्ड ऍज एपिसोडिक स्ट्रेस वेन एव्हर इट हॅपन्स द स्ट्रेस ऑकर्स अँड इट गोज ऑन राईट सो देर आर वेज टू फाईट दीज ऑल टाईप ऑफ स्ट्रेस सी जसं मी म्हंटल की ही बाटली मी आता करायला सांगितली पहिल्या पाच मिनिटातच मी तुम्हाला म्हटलं असं ठीक आहे झालं बाटली ठेवून द्या खाली स्ट्रेस वाढला असता का हात दुखला असता का नाही पण ती बाटली आपण दहा मिनिटं पंधरा मिनिटं अर्धा तास तशीच हातात धरली म्हणून आपल्याला अल्टिमेट स्ट्रेसला पेनफुल स्ट्रेसला यावं लागलं की जिथं तो मे बी दॅट माईट कॉज अस पेन फॉर लॉंगर पिरियड ऑफ टाइम राईट सो हा स्ट्रेस ही हातातली किंवा ही डोक्यात ठेवलेली बाटली कधी खाली ठेवायची आणि कसं वेळोवेळी स्वतःच्या डोक्याची मरम्मत करायची किंवा मानसिक शांती मिळवायची आणि या जर्नीमध्ये मस्त एक्सेल करून दाखवायचं दॅट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट लाईफ ओके सो इज ऑल स्ट्रेस रॉंग और इज ऑल स्ट्रेस बॅड सो वेन आय स्टार्टेड आय सेट की कधी कधी चांगला कसं चांगला काही आपला स्ट्रेस येतो जसं की आपलं कॉलेजचं अॅन्युअल गॅदरिंग आहे आणि आपल्याकडे अँकरिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑर मे बी वी आर परफॉर्मिंग अ प्ले ऑर मे बी अ डान्स That time we feel stress. Oh my God, our performance is next, right? Or maybe uh, while getting married, you feel stress. Or maybe there is a function in the family and you feel stress. So that could be a good stress. So here are some. Uh, what can we? Uh, what can we say? Uh, it says or it explains the how bad the stress could be. So moderate level of stress, which I said, could uh, contribute you to perform better. Second, very little stress. or every day feeling little stress every day feeling little stress can lead you to boredom oh, i cannot do anything i feel bored i don't want to do anything because somewhere you are stressed about that situation you are not dealing with it properly you are not facing your fear properly you are not acknowledging ki yes this thing is bothering me and i should be doing something about it okay and third stress too much stress may cause you your unproductive day or maybe unproductive anxiety level so you could be that unproductive that you won't be able to do anything so before reaching that last level we have to control our stress uh, stress at the minimum level next so emotional symptoms of stress these could these symptoms could be there uh, somebody can see it. anybody can read it for me or maybe depression feeling depressed uh, all the time uh, avoiding others uh, then uske baad change in eating habits <coughs> so these could be the few uh, examples of emotional changes next okay so physical symptoms kya ho sakte hai wo humne pehle hi discuss kiye the jaise ki haath pair thande pad jana shake hone hona low energy feel karna thoda sa uh, fatigue aana ye sab physical changes hai next so cognitive concentration na hona रिअकरिंग ऑफ थॉट सिर्फ सोचते रहना कुछ बारे में और कुछ एक्टिविटी नहीं करना उसके बारे में इनएबिलिटी टू फोकस पुअर जजमेंट हमारे जजमेंट गलत हो जाना कि अरे ये वाला मेरा जजमेंट गलत हो गया ये नेक्स्ट और इसके बाद है बिहेवियर सो इंक्रीज यूज ऑफ अल्कोहल उसके साथ है ईटिंग टू मच और टू लिटिल ये सारी चीजें या फिर सिर्फ सोचते रहना कामों में मतलब एक्चुअल में कुछ काम नहीं करना और सिर्फ मुझे ये करना है ये आई एम डिसाइडिंग फ्रॉम टुमोरो आई मेक माय शेड्यूल आई एल वेक अप इन दाई सो एट सो एंड सो टाइम इन द मॉर्निंग आई लीव माय फूड आई गो टू द क्लास आई डू दिस आई गो फॉर द जिम और आई गो फॉर द स्पोर्ट देन आई टॉक टू दिस मैम और दिस सर रिगार्डिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड देन दे एंड विथ डूइंग नथिंग राइट सो दिस वुड हैपन नेक्स्ट so these are the basic symptoms of stress and how they could occur to you and how you can identify yes i i am not treating myself right 
I am not taking right care of myself. So stresses around us we discussed is in the beginning that uh, test, surprise test, maybe our exams, maybe peer pressure, maybe friends, friends ke saath fight, maybe relationships around us. These could be stresses in your condition, right? In your age. Next. Uh, next. Okay. So coping is very important. Now we have talked a lot about stress. Okay, now you might ask me, ma'am, okay, we understood stress is bad and these, these, these are the symptoms of the stress. But how do we cope with this? So, while coping with stress, you have to identify your own way to cope. And it's very easy. It's not hard. Okay, so before going ahead, I would want you all to close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes. No one is going to come and push you. Okay, close your eyes. Sit relax. Sit nicely. Okay, you, all of us are going to breathe together, but listen to me carefully. You are going to keep your right, right hand on your stomach. Keep right hand on your stomach and left hand on your chest. Right hand on the stomach, left hand on the chest. Keep breathing normally. Now, in this breathing technique, I'm going to count three numbers. When I count one, you have to breathe and take that breath to your stomach. When I say two, you have to breathe. Don't do it right now. Right now, just breathe normally and listen to me. When I give you complete instructions, then you'll be able to do it. When I say two, you'll be, you'll be breathing. And you will take it to the medium level of your body, like right? uh, near your heart. You will take that breath till your heart. And in when I say three, you will fill up your chest with all the breath. And whenever you come, feel comfortable, you will release the breath. When I say four, okay? So we are going to breathe in three steps and we are going to release the breath in one step. Stomach. Uh, heart and then entire chest we are going to fill in. Okay? Breathe normally and I'll count. One, two, three, release. Again, one, two, three, release. While releasing your breath, you have to be very, very gentle. Slowly breathe. Out the right hand. Again, one, two, three. Release. One, two, three. Release. One, two, three. Release. Okay, you can open your eyes. How does it feel? Relaxed. Relaxed. Right? Upon continue motion, Maria so this body is in continue motion. We are certainly always doing something. We are running and here and there. We are thinking of something. When we did this breathing exercise right now, what did you think of anything else rather than my instructions? Please, you were mentally steady. Your mind was focused. Similarly, I asked you to keep your hand on your body. So physically also there was movement. And then you concentrated on your breath from internal side, from your stomach till your nose, right? So it made you feel relaxed. This kind of relaxation we need every day. And when do we pro when do we provide it to our body? Never. We do it never. We go to beauty parlors and beauty salons every week. We do, we get our nails done, we get our hairs done, we get our beard shape, right? We do everything possible. We get good, nice, uh, classic uh, clothes, uh, goggles, chasmas, glasses. But what about internal we? Which is actually going to be there for our entire life. So, I am going to give you a few coping strategies or maybe a few coping ways. 
to deal with your stress. Next slide. Yes, next. So there are type of coping which we have learned uh, till until now: unhealthy coping and healthy coping. So uh, unhealthy coping is getting addicted to something wrong, for, you know, going away from people, not talking to anybody about it, or uh, getting. Uh, what can we say? Getting agitated or getting angry or snapping at people with no reason. Just feeling that someone should understand me. But unless and until you talk about it, how someone will understand you? Because everyone has their own stress. We may not know it. But everyone has their own journey. Pratyek asa daftar zhada asa. Kona asa daftar halka nasta te apne la halka vat. And healthy uh, coping means can you shut up? Maybe cooking, maybe doing something for yourself, maybe cleaning your room. Sometimes just cleaning your room, cleaning your bed, cleaning your cupboard, uh, organizing your books in a certain way can make you feel nice, lighter. Yes, I know what is around me. That gives you a comfort. Or maybe doing some yoga at some time. These could be some of the coping, uh, healthy coping needs. Next. So, stress management techniques. First, Mindfulness and relax, uh, relaxation uh, exercises. First is uh, guided mindfulness exercises. Breathing exercises. Just enter this world on YouTube and you will get n number of exercises for mindfulness. What we don't do, we have YouTube, we have this information now, but we won't Google it or we don't uh, search it on YouTube and we won't do it. So that's not going to. We have to do it if we want to read something. Second, ah, previous slide please. Uh, deep breathing and progressive music relaxation. So, jo deep breathing humne abhi kiya. This is one of the deep breathing exercises. Uske saath time management. For example, my lecture is at 8.30 and I am moving from my house at 8.15. And I stay 6-7 kilometers away. How am I going to reach there in time? That's going to stress uh, me on my bike. Oh my god, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late. The professor who is there on the time, who, who wants to teach you on the time, he is going to snap at you. He, he or she is going to ask you, why are you late again? And that's not wrong. That's ethically correct. If you would be standing here and teaching to some people, you will be you will be expecting that yes, my audience should be there on time, right? So if you can expect that, your teachers can expect that. And then you should not feel stressed about your how that my teacher has scolded me in front of everyone. She insulted me, he insulted me. No. Mistake it as our end. Instead of that, start 15 minutes, 15 more minutes earlier. Reach 5-10 minutes earlier in the college. You are stress free. So time management. Most of our stress occurs because we are not good at other skills in our life. Like time management. Uh, like sharing, like teamwork, like uh, doing things in group. We are not good at other things that create stress. Stress is not disease itself. If one person is, uh, you know, is aware of how to manage time, that person will never feel stressed because of being led somewhere, because of uh, not reaching in time, because of mi missing the ending or starting of the movie. Right? Uh, creating a study uh, schedule. In your case, you have to create a study schedule. Okay, I know my exams are there. I need to enjoy my life also. I need to go out with my friends. I need to do parties. I have birthdays upcoming. Plan your studies. How you plan your surprise birthday parties for your friends? I hope you plan. Or might, you might be planning. Then you can plan your studies as well. If you know how to plan one thing, then you definitely know how to plan other things. You just need to do it. Third, uh, healthy lifestyle choices, exercise or physical activity. Engage yourself in some kind of exercise. May it be anything, yoga, cycling, swimming, any sports in the uh, premises, anything. That will help you. Just now we played a musical chair for 5 minutes, not even 5 minutes, 3 minutes. That we, uh, that you know, that made, uh, made you feel very energetic and fresh, right? So there is an example in front of you. So exercise. Uh, balanced nutrition and adequate sleep. Mobile scrolling, late night, early morning. Oh, there's my phone. First thing in the morning I see is my phone, right? But that's not right in the long term. And when you will understand this, when you will reach a stage, when you could, you would be able to see surrounding other than mobile, right? And how you will enjoy 
Then you will keep it down for a minute. There are better things to do. So sleep is very important. In your life, sleep, being a student is very hard thing. Huh? Let me tell you. I know I have been there. Everyone has been there. Being a student is a hard thing. Why? Because we don't listen to the right choices and the right advices by teachers and parents. If any one of you tell me that I am going to take 50% of these advices and I am going to whatever it is, this induction program, whatever gives you, if you are going to take 50% of these advices or instructions seriously, you are going to excel very great in your life. Because this comes from a research. Whoever comes here and talks to you comes from a background where the person has studied something, known something. And that is given to you ready-made. You don't have to think twice before doing it. Because these are lifestyle choices. These are the things, these are the skills which are ready-made given to you. Okay? Thanks. Uh, uh, not next slide. Sorry. Okay, seeking support and building a support network. This is very important. Very, very, very important. One person can be built or destroyed if other around that person are not uh, you know, cooperative or not uh, helping enough. You guys are selling in the same boat. You guys all are here to study. You guys should be encouraging each other that if at the end of uh, educational year, if at the end of our course, we want to excel in our field, we all should study. We will have fun to do. Yes. But building a community where no one please stress that only you can do. Neither a teacher nor your family can help you. You are your community, you are your peer group who can tell you that where do we want to go as a group. So this is very important, important encouraging for open communication. If one of your friend is not feeling well or not on the right track, you should be talking and no other person should take it offensively. Open communication is very important. This last thing only can be done by you guys. Next slide. Other helpful ways, uh, for example, changing uh, perceptions and expectations. So you have to change your perceptions towards things. When my teacher scolds me, when I arrive late in the class, it's not because teacher has something wrong in mind about me. It's because I am late. It's my fault. If I am not submitting my project on time and I get scolded or I get less marks or my five marks have been, uh, you know, less by a teacher, then it's my fault. Change your perception. Do it on time, then your teachers won't have will have to ask you again and again in front of anybody. Uh, <clears throat> break jobs or tasks into manageable parts. Okay, you have to do an entire thing. Go try to do it in one go. Break it into the smaller parts. Set some goals, smaller goals for time. For example, daily goals, weekly goals, and then monthly goals. You won't be able to achieve monthly thing in one day. And if you are doing it that way, then it's not going to be beneficial in long term. After that, uh, relatable clothes. Avoid procrastination. So, only thinking about something and not doing anything about it is not going to. You have to take some action about it. If you are deciding that you are going to go for a walk every day, and you are not able to get up and go down in the morning and going out in the for the walk. Just get up early in the morning. Just go down to your building. Just have a small one minute walk there in the walk. That could be a start. Next you will say, okay, I'll go a little further. I'll go a little further. And this way your routine will be set. Just by saying, ki, yeah, I did not do it in the right now in, in the morning. So how can I do it now? It's not going to happen. Next, don't compromise your values and beliefs. No matter what happens around you. If you believe certain thing is not right for you and that's going to stress you for it uh, in long term. For example, any habit. For example, you don't drink cold drinks. For example, and you are all friends drink cold drinks. And you like, instead you like uh, milkshakes or maybe smoothies or maybe lassi, chas, you like that. And you feel, no, I don't like cold drinks. No, it's not good for health. That, that, uh, that's been used to clean drainage or toilets. So I don't put it in my body. So don't compromise your belief system. I'm talking about very small belief. But this small belief will help you to stand up for your bigger beliefs. Your bigger uh, value system. Right? So if it is going to bother you later on, you know. 
this is going to trouble me later. Why did I do this? Don't do it in the first place. That's the best way to avoid stress. Next, schedule me time, which we did right now. We did a me time, you can do me time. That time you have to be alone, without any gadgets, without your friends, without anybody. Think what you did. Write down what are your goals. Try to make a note of yourself. If I will ask any one of you, stand here and talk about yourself just for 2 minutes. That is 120 seconds. I can tell you no one will be able to talk about yourself. You won't be able to talk about yourself for 120 seconds. Only. Because we don't know ourselves. Right? So me time is very important. That will help you to take right decisions in your career also. That will help you to take right decisions about your people in your life also. That will help you in every decision making in your life. The me time. And avoid caffeine. So, most of us are mostly addicted to caf coffee or tea. So, if you will try to avoid it, because that accelerates our heart rate. If you will drink coffee late uh, in the evening, like 7, 8, 9 o'clock, and if it's very hard coffee, that won't let you sleep for the night. You will, you, most of you will be awake. You know, oh, I don't feel sleepy today. Why? Uh, because you drank coffee. Very good. So caffeine, avoid, try to avoid these kind of, uh, you know, products that would increase your stress level. Okay, next. So benefits, benefits of stress management. We learned what is stress. We learned how we, we can manage it. But what will happen if we will manage the stress? Please, next. Okay, physical and mental health gets better. Right? If I don't have stress, I'm managing my time. No one is scolding on me. I'm not scolding with uh, anybody. I'm not having quarrels with anybody. I'm friends with anybody. I'm in good terms, talking terms with anybody. No stress in life. So physically and mentally stable. Next. More energy and stamina. If I don't waste my time in getting agitated, angry, discussing some other's fault, or this is my fault or something like that, I'll save on stamina. Next. Stabilized emotions. I won't snap at people. I won't get suddenly angry on the people. I won't react in a wrong way. I won't insult anyone. Next, positive attitude. If everything around me is going in a very nice uh, way, if everything is at a right place, so at the end of the day, I will develop a positive attitude. And then, when there is a situation which is actually troublesome, that time also this positive attitude will help me to come out of it. Next, hopeful and happier outcome. At the end of the day, I will be hopeful for the life. I will be hopeful for the uh, my my work, my studies, my life, my career, myself, and I'll be happier. Next, improve ability to focus. I will be able to focus on right things rather than dealing with wrong things or rather than draining out things. जो जो चीजें हमें यू ही ड्रेन कर रही है हमारा ज्यादा से ज्यादा वक्त ले रही है हमारा ज्यादा से ज्यादा स्टैमिना ले रही है वो सारी चीजें हम अवॉइड कर पाएंगे नेक्स्ट इंप्रूव एबिलिटी टू लर्न एंड अचीव मोर एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर एजुकेशनल ईयर यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न मोर एंड अचीव मोर इन लेस टाइम इन योर लाइफ सो अल्टीमेटली योर गोल ऑफ बीइंग समथिंग बेटर योर goal of being a, a nice professional in your life, be it be in any profession, that will be achieved with one skill if you develop in your life, that is stress management. Next. So, are there any queries, any questions, anything regarding stress management?